Steve Kerr explained, in this stretch, you guys had to win two out of the next three games. So what are the emotions knowing it's still possible to win two out of the next three games, but the next one comes with a lot more desperation? Um, we'll be ready. I mean, right now it's, it sucks. We played pretty well in the night. <clears throat> Missed this type of environment. Uh, it was a lot of fun. High intensity, high competitive level. It's proud of everybody that stepped foot on the floor tonight. Um, but how we played, you know, they made a run in the third quarter. We turned the ball over and changed the game, but we still gave ourselves a chance to win. Um, and that's all we were worried about, you know, for the last 48 hours. Um, walk in the locker room, you're, you know, guys are upset, angry, frustrated. We didn't get the job done. But to your question, we'll be ready for Friday knowing uh, you kind of treat it like a regular season where you have to move on pretty quickly to a different team that we just beat and know that they're going to come in uh, with the same desperation we're going to have, and, you know, biggest game of the year. What did you think about LeBron's game winning three? You're somebody who sinks those shots. You know what that feels like. It's a great shot. And, uh, broken play. I sunk in thinking – you know, he was kind of out of play, and they found him. He got his balance just in time and knocked him down. So, um, you know, that's a, that was a tough one because you, you don't really expect it to go in. You expect us to get the rebound, come down in transition, have a possession to uh, to take the lead. But, you know, everything changes when it goes in. And, you know, all-time great players make great shots. That's what, that's what happens. Um, I know the difference tonight, but it's a tough one. Next question is from Anthony Slater. Which plays uh, in that second half, in that fourth, um, or did, will you kind of rethink what, what were kind of the backbreakers? Mostly the third quarter. I, I, I know we had a lot of turnovers, um, and we fouled four times in the first, like, two minutes almost. That changed the uh, – that dynamic of the game it's not a specific play it's just the the, the flow was interrupted by and not getting shot attempts them giving free throws and they got life um like i said that was a tough stretch we knew they're a great team so they're gonna make a run you can't give them help in that situation uh but we still had a chance you know tie game with a minute 20 left um and it can go kind of either way. That's really the marking of a playoff type game when you look back and it might not have been pretty. You think you could have played better, especially in third quarter to step on the throat, but you still have a chance. And, you know, ball bounce, you know, our way, last minute and a half, it's a different vibe, but it didn't. So we got to take that pill, swallow it, and move on. It's um, kind of it. And to follow up real quickly on what Carrot that asked you, as a guy who's hit so many demoralizing shots, what does it feel like being out there when you're a few feet away and you see the ball coming in from 30 feet and it goes down? Well, I've seen it before. About five years ago, I know what it's like. So this one, I was a little further away, so I ain't feel too bad about it. <laughs> 